the Head Start Notification Bed Sensor provides an early indication of a possible unassisted patient bed exit and offers a gentle reminder to the patient to ask for assistance when ambulating. The dual release feature enables notification an average of five to seven seconds faster than commonly used sensor pads. While using the Head Start bed sensor, patients can roll and even self-release, serving as a restraint alternative device. Let's discuss how to attach the Head Start sensor to the patient bed. First, remove the sensor from the packaging. Record the expiration date on the label attached to the sensor cord. The Head Start bed sensor is indicated for 30 days of use on a single patient. Center the narrow straps on the bed so they are crisscrossed, with the yellow handle on the wide belt strap facing up. Position the belt so the cord is on the same side of the bed as the posy alarm. Position the straps so you can see the This Side Facing Out label. Attach the narrow straps to the part of the bed frame that moves with the patient. Do not twist the straps and do not attach them to the side rail, headboard, or footboard. The narrow straps may be wrapped twice around the attachment points to decrease the length of the strap. At least three inches of Velcro should be engaged for proper securement. Check that the straps are secure and will not change position, loosen, or tighten if the patient pulls on them or if the bed is adjusted. The straps should be snug on the mattress or frame with no slack in the strap. Now, we'll review how to secure the sensor around the patient. To open, release both sets of Velcro with the yellow handles. Position the patient in the supine or face-up position on the center of the bed, with the belt at waist level. The patient's garments should cover the skin to avoid direct contact with the device. Secure the belt around the patient by fastening the blue Velcro pieces. The belt should fall just above the hips or at the narrowest part of the waist. The belt should be snug, but not cause any discomfort to the patient. Secure with enough space to slide a flat hand between the belt and the patient. Slide the adjustable handle to connect the white Velcro pieces, ensuring they are aligned and secured for proper operation. Tuck or cover the inner yellow handle to ensure sensor alignment. Connect the cord to your posy alarm. Use your fingers and thumbs on both hands to squeeze the Velcro firmly on the underside and top of the belt to activate the alarm, ensure proper device function, and help prevent false alarms. Now, we'll review how to release the Head Start bed sensor from the patient. Pull on the first yellow handle to disconnect the white Velcro. Pull on the second yellow handle to disconnect the blue Velcro and release the sensor. To resume monitoring, reconnect the blue Velcro and then reconnect the white Velcro. Squeeze firmly to ensure proper device function. Note, patients can self-release from the sensor in several different ways. There are a few important notes to keep in mind when using the Head Start bed sensor. If the narrow straps on the back of the belt are not properly crisscrossed upon application, the patient's ability to roll may be affected. If you can see the small white Velcro squares on the back of the belt, that means it has been applied incorrectly. Never jerk or pull on the cord to remove the plug from the alarm. Doing so may damage the cord or plug and may cause the sensor to fail. Instead, always use the plastic tab to release the plug. CMS guidance regarding restraints states, 
Generally, if a patient can easily remove a device, the device would not be considered a restraint. In this context, easily remove means that the manual method, device, material, or equipment can be removed intentionally by the patient in the same manner as it was applied by the staff, considering the patient's physical condition and ability to accomplish the objective.